Okay, so as you had seen in the video, you could see the ball being released, going down the ramp, going back up the ramp, down the ramp, until it came to a stop. Why did it come to a stop? Because it lost some of its energy, whether it's um, through sound and air resistance and all, and all of those variables. It changes its energy from gravitational potential energy to kinetic energy. And so at the very top here, it has no kinetic energy because it's not moving, but it does have its max gravitational potential energies. Once it reaches to the other side, um, at this blue point here, it once again has no kinetic energy, but it does not have its max um, gravitational potential energy as it had at the very beginning because it does not go all the way to the very top here. But at this point, it only has gravitational potential energy. Once it reaches to the bottom of the ramp here, um, at this yellow point, it has no gravitational potential energy because, uh, because it has no height, essentially. So it has max kinetic energy if you ignore the loss in energy through sound and air resistance. So in other words, the whole demonstration shows the change of energy by going down the ramp, going up the ramp, changing from, from max gravitational potential energy to no potential to no gravitational potential energy here with a with only with the energy changing into kinetic energy and then once again going up the ramp having no kinetic energy at this blue point before it turns around at this blue point only having gravitational energy because there's no velocity at that point and so in other words the whole demonstration shows that change in energy between kinetic and gravitational. The theoretical maximum speed calculated here is only theoretical, hence theoretical maximum speed, because we assume that all the gravitational potential energy that the ball has at the very start would be conserved and that it would transfer into kinetic energy by the time it reaches the bottom of the ramp, which is what we calculated here. And that's not the case in real life because obviously some of that gravitational potential energy that it starts with is lost through, for example, sound and air resistance. So essentially we're never able to get that theoretical maximum speed we calculated because of all of these variables. And that's why the two that and that's why the 2.23 meters per second is theoretical and not accurate to what is happening to the ball on the ramp.